Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So it's going to be a bit more royal talk today. I'm interested in, in uh, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie. Are they going to be more part of the uh, working royals, the senior royals, uh, now that uh, it looks like things are getting thinned out even more than uh, King Charles had anticipated? So focus on Beatrice and Eugenie and we'll see what else comes into the mix. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So the deal is we're going to talk about uh, Beatrice and Eugenie as um, perhaps they might be more participating more as uh, working royals. I mean, you know, things are, are looking uh, slim in the palace. Uh, we don't have folks to go ahead and take care of all the uh, assignments that uh, usually uh, the king and uh, Princess Catherine uh, take care of. And so uh, the, and the others have already stepped up. But are they going to become more, even more, uh, uh, classified more as working royals than they already are and take uh, a more prominent uh, role? Uh, I, I don't see how they can. But before we do any of that, before we talk about a thing, let's have just a moment of meditation. Yeah, I don't see what choice they have. And I'm, I'm concerned, do the princesses want that responsibility? I mean, I know that one of them has a, a big career, maybe both do. Uh, I think they both marry very well. And um, so the princesses, Beatrice and Eugenie, I guess we'll have to do them separately, really, to get an idea. So three cards for Beatrice, uh, just to give us an idea of where her footing is as far as um, working more in the capacity of senior working royal. What does Beatrice think? <laughs> it's a disaster. Well, this could this could talk about the situation that's going on right now in um, in the palace. Wow, the four of, of swords. So swords of truth, justice, rules, and law. And the four of swords is telling us, listen, you better be careful before you make a move because you could hurt yourself even more. Interesting. So this is Beatrice's uh, thought process. It's a, it's a disaster right now. Uh, I have to be careful. And then the last one is, look, it's a big load to carry. Uh, that's all there is to it. Actions, plans, forward movement. And I think she's thinking, look, it's a lot. I don't even know if they really get compensated for that. So this seems to be where her head is at, if we're going to believe the cards. So now let's get three more cards to say... Uh, is the palace going to move to make her more involved? And then we'll do three cards to see if she will accept the responsibility. Just came into my head. So three cards. Will the palace make her more involved? Are they going to move towards getting her more involved? Okay. First card is uh, the seven of cups. Now that's interesting because the seven of cups is illusion and delusion. And you see this clown here, who is the clown, um, is is looking at all the choices that they have. Look, at, it's interesting that the skull in this cup of emotion is crowned as king, the skull. Ugh. And then, um, so very interesting set of circumstances here as far as what's to be chosen from uh, that illusion and delusion. So the terror moment has led to a necessity for some illusion and delusion. The second card then is the three of uh, uh, wands actually plans for a movement. That's long-term planning. So indeed um, this is how the princess is feeling and this involves some careful long-term 
planning. And then the last card, this is the palace here. The last card here is a four of cups, something you never really wanted to have. This is emotion, compassion. And this is the, the this person is all twisted up, looking at what they're gonna have to take on or what they're gonna have to do, which is the palace, bring someone else into the fold. And if you think about it, this could be the king, Catherine, and William. And then this would be Beatrice, perhaps. So uh, the palace, it looks like, is moving in that direction. The last three cards in are going to be Beatrice. Um, will she accept um, more responsibility? I want to give this one more shuffle to let the cards know that this is just for Beatrice. This is just for Beatrice. Okay, one, two, three. Will Beatrice accept the responsibility. Let's see how this goes. First card up, the Sun card. The Sun card is shining a light on everything. Major Arcana, it's uh, about halfway through the, the Fool's Journey. And this this Tiger is, is going for it. The next card is the Empress. So the number three cards. The Empress is healing, secrets uh, being revealed in a way. And um, I, I'm going to say this is Beatrice, and I'm not referring to how heavy this woman is. Just that in this position of Empress, she could be the em, em, uh, emotional, empath. Okay, oh, and then the Queen of Cups. And just what I was trying to say is she will be the Queen of Emotion. Yeah, she will take it on. This is a little bit more like Beatrice. But yes, yeah, she will take it on. So she recognizes this disaster that's happened has made it necessary for her to move carefully. And that if anything comes, it will be a big job. The palace is saying, illusion, illusion is what we're trying to sort out here. Uh, we need some long-term plans, which of course could include Beatrice and her sister, Eugenie. And then uh, and that's not something they ever really wanted to do. And then from uh, Beatrice's, uh, Princess Beatrice's uh, point of view, uh, the sun is shining down on her, so she's in the spotlight. Uh, she will be a healing power and uh, any uh, emotional uh, benefit up to the level of queen uh, to the uh, monarchy. So I think it's great. I, maybe she sees this as maybe a little bit of a chance for her to help uh, salve over the issues that may have been caused by her father and her mother, um, uh, perhaps. Just came into my head to say that. Doesn't mean it has any uh, value, but th that's interesting. Now, Eugenie. So same situation for her. Is she, where, where is her head at as far as this is concerned? Where is Eugenie's head at as far as all of this is concerned? Three cards. One, two, three. Where is Eugenie's head at uh, where all this is concerned as far as, you know, if she step up? It's looking at things from a different perspective than they ever have in the past. The hangman. Um, the seven of coins is, um, you know, really uh, reevaluating your your value. Okay, interesting. This is Eugenie's idea. Uh, oh, and end of a cycle. If she takes this on, this is the end of life as she knows it. And but the end of a cycle means the beginning of something else. And it's significant that death and the tower card in Beatrice. Uh, instance and a death card is because this is the real reality of what's causing all this to maybe take place possible deaths but more so it means the end of a certain cycle which means the beginning of some other kind of a cycle now the palace what is the palace thinking about this uh, i say the palace because i don't know whether to attribute this to king george uh, sorry king charles uh, king, uh prince william or the people that run things behind the scenes so the palace where are they on this with Eugenie. Eugenie. Where's the palace on this idea with Eugenie? Okay. Okay, so the Eight of Cups is walking away from something of emotional importance. Um, wow. Walking away from uh, the King and Catherine. The next one is the Nine of Cups wanting to display your emotional trophies. That certainly would be the palace's aim. And then the third one here is a celebrations, female celebrations. So if we have Queen Camilla, if we have Eugenie and Beatrice, so, so this could be uh, the, the palace's point of view on all this, which seems to be pretty favorable. Not something they want 
wanted to do, walking away from the existing structure, uh, but um, this will give an opportunity to display their emotional um, uh, value, and then uh, three women celebrating uh, with cups. So everything cups on the second row. The palace is looking at how this is going to affect uh, the thought of, of people, thoughts of people towards the monarchy. And then the last three cards for actually Eugenie's, uh, will she take it on? Is she willing to do it? One, two, what choice does she have? Three. First card, Eugenie. Judgment. Okay, she could face judgment if she doesn't. She is facing judgment in taking on these assignments, but whatever it is, judgment has come to call, and we all have to answer to judgment. The second card for Eugenie, star. So much like her sister uh, Beatrice, she is a shining star, which is interesting. And then the last card is the Page of Wands. Now she comes into this with less um, significance than her sister as a page. Remember, you have the page of the night, the queen and the king in order of their importance with it, uh, the wands or actions, plans, forward movement. So she comes in, she kind of tiptoes tip in with an idea on the back of this uh, monster, you know, this elephant in the room. So yeah, she will do what she's asked to do. That's definite. Now let's go back to the king because I think certainly at this point he's the one who's going to set anything in motion perhaps, uh, maybe in tandem with William. They're, I'm sure they're having uh, discussions about when is it better for this to happen? Is it better for this to happen, Dad, after you're gone? After I'm in charge? Is it better to put things in motion now? Uh, they're always trying to play the odds. So King Charles on Beatrice and Eugenie. Let's do four cards. One, two, three, four for King Charles on Beatrice and Eugenie. Okay, first card up is, look at that again, having to manipulate how to construct this illusion and delusion. Uh, he is the emperor. The cards, it's amazing how on nose the cards are. He is the emperor, he will direct the show. That's King Charles, so this will be put in motion for him. Again, repeated card. Caution is the rule of the day, and the page of swords, it's having to swallow the truth, swallow the rules and the law, the justice, having to swallow that. And uh, that's what, yeah, he's willing to do what he has to do to uh, move the monarchy forward. And I guess we should ask William, what does he think about all of this? And I think at this point, William is like on board with whatever happens or a lot of, to lend some help. So William, in this regard, four cards. One, two, three, four. William, in this regard. Where is William in the regard of putting Beatrice and Eugenie on the plate? Ace of Cups. Big yes. That's the only card I drew that'd be yes, yes, yes. Um, eight is perfecting your craft. This is where William is. He's perfecting his pre-kingship. Uh, uh, Knight of Cups. He's, he's willing to fight for the emotion of what's going on here. And the King of Wands, he will be the king of those plans, I think, once they've been set in motion by his dad. So yeah, he's on board with the, the princesses. So I think it's all very clear. It's being considered thoughtfully, and uh, I think we can start to see some moves in that direction sometime soon. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. These are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow Joe Lee uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very in interesting person, and uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him, um, but he was a circus performer, he went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well at the Clown College here, uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a, a degree in that, and then uh, he's done other things in his life, and then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards, he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful. 
They're easy to use. Um, the art on them is amazing. And if you know your right away system, you're not going to have a problem, you know, deciphering uh, what these cards are, are going to mean. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory and fun, fun, fun to look at. So, you know, I do this so that you can have a look at these cards. Uh, and, you know, if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards, otherwise you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time. And uh, I think it's just that you're missing out on a lot. So, you know, this uh, Legrand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot, I love using these.